So today's video is how you can invest £10,000 in property. Now firstly, I'm actually pretty proud of you. Like, I'm almost... I'm almost getting emotional. And... Now I'm getting emotional because the fact that you just managed to save £10,000 and property is the first place that you're looking to invest your money, I just want you to give yourself a pat on the back because for me that is such a wise decision that you are choosing to invest not only in your future but you're choosing to put your money into an asset over a liability. A big, big thing. But before this video turns into a sloppy video about me telling me me telling me, me telling you how proud I am, I wanna actually give you some ways that you can invest 10,000 pounds into property. Now, of course, you know property investment will likely be your biggest expense ever. Although I've got many friends who have children who tell me otherwise. But crap jokes aside, 10,000 pounds, sadly, it's actually not a lot of money to actually invest in property, especially if you're looking to continue the journey and you want to keep growing your portfolio but of course you didn't click this video for me to shoot you down before we even start and you've now managed to save ten thousand pounds so it's only fair that i give you some ways that you can actually start to invest that ten thousand pounds to make yourself a healthy return so with this video i'm going to give you five ways that you can invest ten thousand pounds <music> Now the first is that you can buy cheaper property and I'm talking around the £40,000 mark. Now these types of properties actually exist. I bought myself one at auction many years ago for £44,000-ish in Stoke and I actually sold it a few years later for £64,000. And you can potentially buy yourself a £40,000 property with 25% deposit, lesser fees and have yourself your first buy to let. Now depending on the rental income and the mortgage that you actually take out with it, the cash flow isn't gonna be huge. And to make that 10,000 pounds back on your first buy to let, it could take you four, maybe five, maybe even six years. So that's something to bear in mind. Are you happy buying a property every five to six years? The second is you can joint venture with friends and family. You can get your best friend from here, your best friend over there, and you can even go find yourself another best friend. And when you and your best friends and your family put together 10,000 pounds, you instantly increase your purchasing power. Now, the general rule of thumb that I often tell people is that you can leverage four times as much money as you currently have. Now, this may depend on experience and the lenders who are available, but bridging companies, for example, that I've used in the past have allowed me to actually have slightly less. I think it was around 22, 23%, because if you can get yourself 50,000 pounds, you can go and look for projects up to 200 thousand pounds the third is you can get involved in rent to rent now although i do service accommodation it's never really been a strategy that i actually set out to do it can 100 percent work but it's a full-time job so unless your goal is to replace your current full-time job and then almost become a rent to rent type investor i definitely think twice in fact what i recommend is that you watch this video over here where i interviewed an actual service accommodation operator who operates in birmingham city center with over 20 properties on his portfolio and it's for free and the reason i'm pushing you to watch that video after this one of course is because ten thousand pounds can probably get you started with at least two to three properties to start to bring you cash flow in maybe after the first six to seven months where you recoup your initial amount and then make yourself a tidy little sum which then you can put together into a bigger pot to increase your purchasing power. The fourth is you could become a deal sourcer. Now to actually become a compliant deal sourcer and set yourself up, it's actually gonna cost you a couple of grand because you wanna become legally compliant. But then if you're able to save that money and maybe just invest it or use it for coffees with investors or bus fares or petrol when you're looking at deals, then you can definitely make that back. You can definitely make money deal sourcing. But deal sourcing, although often spoken about like it's a quick entry into property where people are making six, seven figures and you know, you've seen the ads, we've all seen the ads. It's a numbers game. It requires rejection after rejection. It requires knowledge. And most importantly, it requires a hell of a lot of hard work. But if you're willing to do that and property is something that you're thinking about doing, but you only have maybe 10,000 pounds, maybe a bit less, it's definitely an avenue you can look into. So what I will do is if that's of interest, I will explain how you can actually set yourself up to be a compliant deal source and how you can get the ball rolling in terms of sourcing your first deal. And finally, my favorite one, 
lease options. Now lease options are fantastic because you can literally do a lease option with little to no money if you know what you're doing. Now, a lease option is actually split into two sides. So the first side is the lease part. So just a very, very quick example. There could be a landlord here. Let's call him Mr. Subscribe. And Mr. Subscribe is, well, he's asking you to subscribe, but he's also saying, I just want a guaranteed rental income of maybe 600 pounds. But you know he has multiple rooms that you could let out to many individuals. And maybe make yourselves, I don't know, 1,500 pounds per calendar month. You could potentially give him a rent guarantee of 500, rent it out for 1500 to multiple people and then profit off the top. So you're effectively making money off his asset. You don't own it, but you're controlling it. Now the second part of a lease option is the agreement part where you basically say to that landlord who may actually be open to selling the property, I tell you what, Mr. Subscribe, now that you've subscribed and you've hit that like button, what I am gonna do is I will buy this property of you for maybe what he wants but I can't buy it today. What I will be doing, however, is maybe in the next three years, if we sign this agreement is I will buy a few for that much. And now the beautiful thing with this is you have the option to exercise that right to buy it, but you're not legally obligated to do it. So if your circumstances change, it's absolutely fine. Whereas if you know house prices have risen by X amount, for example, and you have that money available, you can then buy that house for maybe a discount. So what I will be doing in relation to lease options, if it's obviously of interest to you guys, is do a few videos on that for absolutely free. There's no training, there's none of this me trying to extract any money from you. I'm just gonna try and help you as much as possible to get yourself started. So there we have it. That's five very, very quick ways that you can spend 10,000 pounds in property. Now I can think of literally a million, well, can't think of a million, but I can think of a few more if you find this type of video useful. And as you know, I am an anti-guru. So I would definitely say if you've saved your first 10,000 pounds, firstly, well done, because I know how hard it was to save my first 10,000 pounds many, many years ago. But secondly, I just wanna urge you not to spend it on courses or people giving you quick, rich get schemes and telling you exactly what you wanna hear. The information that you require to get yourself started I promise you will be found on this channel for absolutely free and across many other resources that I'll share along the way as well. But the majority of it requires daily action, which I can obviously help you with. So on that note, I'll leave you to your breakfast, lunch or late night snacks, depending on whatever time you're watching this. And I would just kindly ask you one more time, if you haven't already, maybe drop a comment down below, give me some feedback or just grab that middle finger and smash that like button for me because it really does help my channel out. And until next time, thanks for watching.